What is going on guys, it's Alex here from Hello World Computing and today, first of all, I just want to apologise for not putting out a video in such a long time. Uh, me and Callum have been inundated with work, we've got a computing course to do, we've had exams doing, we're in our last year of sick form. So if you just bear with us, if we don't get videos out so, so very often, then I apologise but we've got so much work to do. But it's such, it's so great that, that there are people that want to learn Pascal and we want to provide that to you. So today um, we're going to be going over if statements. Now if statements um, allow the user to compare a variable with a set parameter and uh, for example you could say if something is equal to something else then it will do something but if it's not it will run something else that will be your fallback. Um, you can use all the different operators so say you're using integers if something is greater than something else then do something but if it's not go to your fallback so I'll show you the syntax and then I'll show you how it can be used so if we just drag these in okay so if, remember file new program and then we'll cut this stuff you don't need uh, put in a read line check it runs Remember, you've always got to make sure it check it runs. There we go, it's running, we're good. Okay, so let's set up a little program, shall we? Uh, we'll have a variable, so we'll have var, we'll have number one, which is an integer, and number two, which is an integer. There we go. Right, so we'll ask the user to put uh, two numbers in so we'll start off with the right line and we'll say please enter number one and then we'll read line whatever they put into number one there we go like that. Uh, and then we'll right line again we'll say please enter number two We'll read line number two. So that is asking a user for two numbers. Um, they can be anything. Um, right. So we'll create a right line. Just put a space in between that just so we know what we're doing. So the if statement, I'll show you the general syntax of it. So it's if, and then it'll be your variable. So we'll just do if number one is greater than number two then begin end and then what you have to do is you have to get rid of that if you want to use the else after you get rid of the semicolon after the first end else begin end again so in the first begin end this is where you will do it if the if statement is true so if number one is greater than number two we will write line number one is greater than number two and the fallback if it's not true we'll write line number one is not sorry it's not greater than number two so as you can see, it's going to compare these two variables. So if number one is greater than number two, it will say number one is greater than number two. If it's not greater than number two, then it'll say number one is not greater than number two. So let's have a head and run this. First of all, we'll make, if we just put it down here. First of all, we'll make it so it is greater than number one. So we'll put number one as seven and number two as three forgot to put a read line at the end. Always remember when you're running Pascal in the command box always have a read line at the end. Okay so we'll put seven, three, there you go. Number one is greater than number two. Close that. We'll run it again. Here we go. Uh, this time we'll have number one smaller than number two. So we'll put the three for number one and seven for number two. And there you go. Number one is not 
greater than or to. Now this is helpful when you want to uh, compare two variables together or say you have um, you want you, you can set it as a set parameter so if number one is greater than five it doesn't have to be against another variable so number one is greater I'll we'll change this than five number one is not greater than five so we've run this so we'll put um, nine and we'll just put another one there you go number one is greater than five Um, and then we'll do three seven number one is not greater than five and if statements are really helpful when you get into the real nitty-gritty of the program um, they can help you out so much um, yeah uh, so that is bas uh, a basic if statement um, it can really help build really good programs so Stay tuned for the next episode of Hello World Computing.